this is Rizky again. Finally, I have my BLF LT1. So this project is basically started at 2016. Um, maybe 2017. I think that I think it was started at 2016. So the wait is really long time. It's almost three years or maybe three years now. And finally, it is in my hand. Uh, uh, let's see what's inside uh, the box. You've got a manual, and a printed manual here. Nice uh, logo. The logo is high resolution though, but uh, the, the flow chart in here is not as good as the as the. It's just like it looks like the. The, the picture itself is stretched somehow when printed but it doesn't matter really because it, you can you can still understand it can you um, it's basically just like your any other Andrew light but except in this uh, lantern you have um, thin mixing or thin ram from cool white from cool light to warm white and from warm white to cool light so that's the only difference with any other Android light. Um, so basically, if you have Android light, this is just um, basically operate the same. Um, we have also Type C charging cable because the this lantern can be charged directly with the Type C uh, Type C cable. But a pair of rings, three of them with uh, different sizes and let's see this is not three, this is two o-rings oh yeah, as you can see this is just folded on itself, so you got two o-rings and one spare uh, switch cap you can directly um, relate these to BLF Q8 because it it's basically based on the BLF Q8 design, but the, the tube are different. The tubes is different. Um, uh, the knurling is different. So I think it's quite nice design. Uh, it's more of function than uh, 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 than the aesthetics of it. But I kind of like it. Simple. Um, you've got the the tripod mount over here got charging port over here this is a type c charging port you cannot use your type c to type c um, cable you need to usb a to type c cable uh, there's some uh, problem with the driver not problem i mean it's probably an oversight i'm not sure but you can only use a usb a to type c able to charge this lantern so overall the quality is similar to the BLF Q8 probably better but some scuff mark over here not sure why it's like it from the factory if you, if you can see that can you yeah this is the scuff mark probably from the analyzing process or maybe bump in the factory um, like as you can see a really nice lantern so this is basically operate like your Android light if you have your um, switch on switch off press and hold to ramp up press and hold to ramp down but but you don't get from your other Android light this one can do a thin mixing from um, warm white to cool white. Uh, I'll show you uh, in the video later. I'm not sure how it will translate to camera, um, but we'll try it anyway. So let's see what's inside the, the battery carrier. As you can see, I put only two. The battery carrier, uh, the battery is in the parallel configuration, so. You can use one, you can use two, you can use three or four, but make sure your battery is in the same state of charge. Otherwise, uh, 
you don't want to mix your battery one empty and one full because the empty one will transfer its energy to the uh, the low state charge one and you don't want to do that um this is the the driver's side looks clean and nice oh yeah um make sure you are using um, button top but mine is flat top uh, i added some solder block the problem with the solder block is that in time the the solder will be um, um, will be scrub away because of the rotation with the when you screw in the battery tube so make sure you have you, your solder block um, uh, you have enough solder rope on top of the battery if you I mean just to be safe use a, a button top battery but I'm fine with this so it's your it's, it's your choice so you can one you can use one you can just two three four battery I'll use two because um, it's lighter and I uh, two is enough run time for me so yeah it basically it operates just like your Android light nothing really special ram up ram down Now I'll show you how to um, to do a thin mixing. This is currently on the lowest, on the warmest setting. So uh, as you can see the color, it's really is warm. And let me use the white white paper. I would uh, use the manual to to show it better. Right. This is warm. This is nice and warm. To, to adjust the tin to cool white you just click 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 and hold so you're doing two click and one hold one two three hold see it's now on cool white now this is on the cool setting as you can see the color it is a cool white so to do that again you just simply press press and hold total in three clicks this is the warmer setting you can do choose one in between so you don't have to go to one the warmers or the coolest you can if you want to choose the one in the middle maybe one two three oh like so which is really nice so that's how you do the the thin mixing on the blf lt1 so yeah, that's how you do the thin mixing. Um, oh yeah, um, the, the the BLF LT1 has an uh, unintended function is that you can run the the lantern without battery and use the power bank or any other USB uh, source power source to run the battery with uh, without the, uh, without the, run the lantern without the battery. So. Um, just use a 5 volt source I heard there's a coil wine if you use more than 6 volt source so, so if you're seeing a 5 volt maybe, uh, like a USB power power bank USB AC uh, adapter is fine so maybe just a one cons if I would say that is that this one is this lantern is rather heavy if you want to travel light probably want, don't want to bring this uh, lantern because all the aluminium in here it feels it feels nice but uh, also the weight is probably just even with two batteries still uh, you can still feel it but if you carry it in the backpack it's probably fine I'm not a camping person so your mileage, your mileage will be very your needs will be different so yeah um, just keep that in mind if you want to uh, own this lantern this is not a no, it's not a light lantern. There are many uh, plastic lanterns like from Nightcore, 
smaller though, less features, but this lantern is packed with a lot of features. Modes, function, stroke, candle mode, which is perfect on this lantern. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have questions, please ask in the comment section. I'll, I'll answer it. And thanks for your time. Thank you for watching. Good night.